Thanks for joining us for another DK Custom Products video. My name is Dwayne and this is Kevin. And today I got a few questions for Kevin about what he does to make his trike more comfortable. One of the biggest shortcomings of a Harley Davidson, they're not comfortable. I mean, they can be relatively comfortable depending on what model you get. You know, if you go all out and buy, you know, a fully dressed bagger, they can be a little comfortable, but Regardless, if you're one of those guys that says they keep their bike stock or not, chances are most of you out there have done something to make your bike more comfortable, whether it be hand grips, a different seat, different foot pegs. And before pe before people start haranguing on Hurley for yeah. not including this or not including <laughs> that on the bike, look at the video up in the corner here about how Hurley purposely makes the bikes a blank canvas so that people can customize them and make it their own. Now, Kevin, we're gonna keep this video confined to five things, if you can manage that, just five things you've done to your trike to keep it more comfortable. Now, I'm talking about you as the rider. We have a whole nother video, and I'll put a link up here to increasing passenger comfort. That's very easy to do. Today, we're gonna to talk about five things Kevin does to make his trike more comfortable as the rider. So, what's the first thing? Well, when when you told me five things, I mean, that's, uh, you know, I, I sat down and, <laughs> thought what, if I could only do five things, yeah. what five things would I do? What five things do I do first? One of the first things I do is floorboard extensions. To get my feet away from the exhaust, away from mm -hmm. the primary, just give me a little bit more room to stretch yeah. out. And I've gotten so used to those on all my bikes that when I get on a bike that doesn't have floorboard extension, I go put my foot yeah, on it I've been and there. the floorboard's not even, like, yeah, what not is even there. Yeah. So floorboard extensions just are a huge comfort factor for me. Excellent. And those those work on the trikes, the two-wheel bikes. Uh, anything you can get do to get your legs away from that heat, it's always yeah. going to make it more comfortable. And, and just more room, you know, when you're spending hours, just more room to spread out. I just, uh, I didn't know how good they were until I tried it. It's one of those things where you go, how can an inch make that much difference? Well, so if that's your first, I can't wait, wait to hear what, what comes after that because I love floorboard extensions. Yeah. I think every bike, I think these bikes from the factory have should have the floorboards in that position. So what's your next thing? Next thing is I use an air hawk and a sheepskin. Ooh, good choice. Um, I used to take this, I've sent seats out to get redone. I've, uh, and then when I saw how much they were charging, how easy it was, yeah. I redid my own, would take the cover off and reshape the foam myself, use some comfort foam. And then I discovered the air hawk and a sheepskin. And I just used the stock seat with an air hawk and a sheepskin, the air hawk to make it more comfortable, the sheepskin is cooler in the summer, yeah. it's warmer in the winter, and uh, it just makes a huge, huge difference in uh, how comfortable it is sitting on the seat. Related to that, I can't ride without a backrest. I don't know if it's just my poor posture, I, I don't know. If I ride any length of time on any bike, yeah. trike or any other bike, without a backrest, my back will start hurting. <laughs> and so I, uh, Right, use a backrest. So that's the seat, and then the backrest is two and three. Yeah, I feel like I know where you're about to go with this, but let's hear it. What's the next thing? The next thing is the handlebars. I knew it. And and so I put the handlebars where they're comfortable for me. And after I wrote these four things down, when you told me you were going to ask me this question, after I wrote these four things down. I realized I just described the comfort triangle. Yeah, we've talked about the comfort triangle yeah. for years. Foot placement, hand placement, butt placement, sitting position, yeah. all those things, one, two, three, working together. Those are the first three. We'll put a, a, a link to the video about the comfort triangle up there. But I did not put those first four, right? The floorboard extensions and fixing up the seat with the air hawk and the sheepskin and then the backrest and then the handlebars. I just did that because literally that was in my mind. What would I do first? What do I need to do yeah. to get the bike comfortable? And then after I'd done that, I realized <laughs> that's the comfort triangle. Yep. Uh, before we go any further, we appreciate the comments you put uh, down below. Uh, and we ask that you keep putting those down there. <laughs> yeah. We read all of them. We don't necessarily answer all of them. Or if we do get to answering them all, uh, it might not be in a timely manner but we do appreciate you commenting. We appreciate you subscribing. We appreciate you clicking the thumbs up button. <laughs> That's right. 
if you have something that is time sensitive or you need an answer to this or that, or you got a part and you're not sure if it'll fit your bike now that you have it, email us at support at dkcustomproducts.com or give us a call or send us a text because our emails and our phone calls are answered in a timely manner and you won't have to wait for two, three, or, or you know, we had one video that it took me almost two <laughs> weeks to answer all the yeah. comments on. So we appreciate the comments. We want you to keep putting them there, but go ahead and call or email right. us for stuff that you want an answer to right now. Right, so if you have a question about fitment, for example, just shoot us an email. You'll get a reply back much faster than we can get to your 235th comment on, on, <laughs> on a YouTube, YouTube video. Yeah. All right, so let's round it off. What's the fifth and final thing? I feel like it's probably the most definitive thing that you can do for comfort. It is is uh, upgrade the suspension. Obviously, yeah. Uh, especially on the trikes, uh, the suspension can um, uh, be uncomfortable <laughs> after a while. <laughs> and so we upgrade the suspension. We have uh, uh, different uh, suspension reports that we'll put down in the description below, links to them in the description below. And we'll also put a video on our most recent rear shock um, uh, video that we've done, but the suspension with the comfort lift on the mm -hmm. tri glide just makes a huge difference. I mean, it literally is the difference between being uncomfortable after two or three or four hours and being able to go eight or nine hours and still not being uncomfortable. And when you, and the suspension is very important, but absent a comfortable seat and a backrest. Mm -hmm. Absent places to put my feet, you know, with the floorboard extensions yeah. and absent having the handlebars in the right location, the suspension is not going to make up for any of those. So Correct. those are the five things that I absolutely have to do. And I've had three trikes. I'm on my third trike now. So I've learned as, I, as I've gone. But those are the things that I do to get my trike comfortable. So the comfort triangle basically is the first four <laughs> yeah and then uh the suspension, suspension. Yeah. yeah so those are all great things that you've listed if you guys have any input or questions about anything you've seen in this video shoot us an email to support at dk custom products leave us a comment again we'll try to get to the comments as quick as possible but if you have a question that needs to be answered in a timely manner shoot us an email or give us a call and the other thing is list things that you do. Obviously, mm -hmm. I've done more than just that, yeah. but he limited me to five <laughs> just things. Five. Keep the video short. So uh, list the things that you do to your trike to make it more comfortable for you. You all ride safe up.